Hey guys, welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival. I am the Wolf. I am here with Lord Jericho. Hey guys. And Kovas. Hey guys. Well, as you can see, we are on the snow planet. I have gotten started with a decent layout of where we're gonna be. X marks the spot, right? So, as you can see right now, I'm digging down a little bit, just flattening the ground out, smoothing it out, working out where we're gonna go with things. I already marked out where the uh, tunnel's gonna be at for the hover train. An idea that's still in the works, it might not even work, but we're going to try it. But um, going different with this build, instead of having it above ground, I'm actually putting the generator, the fuel tanks, and all that deep underground. So even if the whole top of the base was annihilated, it would still have power. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a lot of work. So I'll be recording a little bit here and there, off and on, showing you what we're working on here. Because this is going to take a long time because I got to do it one layer at a time all the way down so that way one we don't lose structural integrity on anything and we make sure it's the right height for all the supports and everything going down so as we go I'll record little bits and pieces here and there and put it together for you so that way you don't miss out on anything you can actually see how things were done step by step all the way through uh, I will also be working on the side on uh, my new hovercraft build and capital vessels in between building the base here so we'll see where things go and how things end up hopefully they turn out the way i want them to and they don't look like that <laughs> i don't know it reminds me of a bug for some reason like an ant that's what it looks like the head of the ant the body of the ant and then the back end of the ant just weird. I think I just figured out the name of that ship. I'm going to find out what the uh, Latin term is for ant, and that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, it does. It just, the, the quickest thing I've ever thrown together, and it reminds me of an ant. With mega cannons on it. But anyways. Alright guys, I'm going to go back to clearing this one out, and these, three these other three squares here. And my objective on this is to try and find a way to do a dome-like structure on in here and, and stuff like that which it's hard to do domes because either they're triangular or they're square and rounded corners and I don't like either so we'll see what we come up with and see if we can come up with something interesting so I'll see you in a bit alright guys as you can see we are getting deeper and it's been two days now um going over different ideas on how I want to do the uh, dome section here. I put up a turret and some stuff to keep some defenses going besides the capital vessel there. I'm thinking of a... can't do a circular dome, but maybe we can do a... octagon? Kind of like... prism? Maybe? I guess? I don't know. Anyways... As you see here, where I'm still digging out here, I'm working on getting it down lower. I'm thinking about going uh, eight deep, and then putting, well, what I mean by eight is eight blocks deep, counting this this one. So that one down there, this is four, and then five, and then six, seven, and eight. And that'll be the base of where we're going to try and put the hover train station and then we'll build the hover train and try and make it work one way or another so yeah that's it I did however upgrade my hovercraft to uh, combat steel love the new multi-tool tier 2 you shift and right click so she's all uh, hard and blocks a little tougher a little better so we'll be building the uh, eventually here soon hopefully get us some uh, heavy artillery tanks so that way when we go out to the uh, points of interest on this planet we have something to fight back with and actually just blow the hell out of it hopefully not the loot crates because that's what we really want and the resources off of them but alright I'm going to get back to digging down in this dirty little hole probably for another two days <laughs> and I'll bring you guys back once we start making some progress here and I think I'm going to leave it until we actually start on the hover train tracks and foundations and stuff like that and then I'll bring you guys back for that. And I think I'm just going to finish digging this all out 
get the floor laid down, and then I'll bring you guys back in for that when we actually start putting things together. So, see you in a bit. Alright guys, as you can see, I finally got the dome finished. It's dark out, so I kind of can't show it to you right at the moment. You know we were uh, digging out that trench for a couple of days. It's actually been five days now, I believe. Uh, uh, a lot of work. And they just released the update, making the multi-tool so much better when it comes to removing hardened steel blocks. It's so much nicer now. Two hits instead of ten. It's epic. But right now the only thing I'm working on is I'm getting the walkway path set up. Oh, crap. I should be able to do this. Yes. Sweet. But the uh, initial walkway for the dome structure here, which has no function except for the fact that it's just housing the open area of the main compound here, which down there on the very bottom will be the train station, or hover station if it doesn't work out, where there will be the tunnels that will lead outside of the valley in all four directions. It will also house on that lowest level there, but underneath, under the ground, the hovercraft parking, the small vessel hangers, and to everything down there. Um, let's see if I can bring up the map. Over here, right here, from here to about here, is going to be the starport for all the capital vessels to, be able to come down and land. Uh, it'll probably only be big enough for two vessels, but we'll see if we can fit it. Um, just out this way, I believe, or no, that one. This way will be our garden, garden dome, or whatever you want to call it. And it's not going to be as big as this. This is the main biggest structure. When you come in, you're going to see this from space. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, about all I got for you is an update of where the progress is at so far. I'm going to go back to it. All I'm doing is. Um, breaking these out, fixing up, like I said, the walkway that goes around this. Which, as they even said in the notes, you need to be careful when <laughs> removing blocks now with it, because it only takes two hits, and it actually gets rid of the hardened steel blocks instead of ten hits like it was before. I was making lots and lots of mistakes to start with that I getting rid of a lot of blocks I shouldn't be because I was still using the 10 count method. <gasps> Go figure. Me learning too late. <laughs> uh, once day break comes, I'll get a little bit more done and then I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you the uh, whole structure as a whole. As you can see straight out in front of me out there. Let's move that. Jericho's still working on his small vessel there. I will show you uh, Omni's hover vessel. He's doing a really good job on his over there. So until then, be right back. Alright guys, as you can see, things have changed just a little bit. The dome is complete up top. We've cleaned out the sides, put the walkways around. And look, we are getting started on the hover train. Ha ha! We got a mock train set up as a testing. Uh, I'll have Omni drive it around, if he doesn't mind. Yep. Show you how this is uh, going on here. See if I can get a decent little perch somewhere. It's hard to maneuver here. All right, show them how it's done. Yeah, it's real easy just to back right up. And we're planning on putting a driver's seat on each end, so when you're heading down the tunnels, you'll actually be facing the way you're going, no matter what. You won't have to worry about turning. Turnings aren't so bad. Three block it's wide. Doable. But there, we might actually work. I might have another idea of making a switching station kind of thing at the turn radiuses. Right, yeah. So the trains, the hover trains will work. So I'm definitely going to roll with this. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> now, the cool part yeah. about the hover trains is they actually with the new mechanics they put in for the hovercraft they contour to the terrain now so they're not just 
flat. So you get up on the sides of those tunnels, you could really <laughs> book it through. I was really hoping for is to be able to turn the hover engine sideways and upside down. So that way, no matter which way you were going, it would the hover engines would bounce off the walls and stuff and keep you on the track no matter what. And, well, you can't rotate hover engines, at least not yet. Hopefully they change that. That would be awesome. Yeah, but I don't can. think... I don't think they thought of people using them hovercrafts as trains. <laughs> but the other thing I, that we uh, found out is that we can make uh, three wide little crafts, little hover vessels, and we could turn these into racing tunnels. So we're going to have hovercraft races. Because, <laughs> uh, like I told you before, we're going to have the tunnels coming out different sides and all over the dang planet. You know, We're going to just go crazy with this now. But let me give you a tour of what we've done with the uh, the dome. Like I said, all it is is a dome right now. This is the Grand Central Station of our uh, facilities. Outside each one of these is going to be uh, open areas for different areas that will lead to other areas. And things like uh, hovercraft hangars, small ship hangars, uh, the, garden, uh, the garden stones and stuff like that. It'll all lead out from here. But, yep, yeah, here's our walkway. This is just temporary. We got set up here to keep us alive, which actually I need some oxygen right now. I could use some, too. Oh, there is no O2. Uh, it's on the cap ship. Uh, the ant, which I need to learn. I got to look up how to uh, spell ant in Latin, because that's the name of it. What is that? Is that a block inside my building? Yeah, that's... It's a little corner block. There's another one around there, too. That was weird. But, yep, we got ourselves the walkways, so when you come coming in from space, you'll actually be able to see the dome, and then you'll be able to see in the dome, you'll see the train station down below and the crossways that are going across to all the different areas we can come out to. Like I said, when we come out this side, there'll be a hangar. This is going to basically be an underground hangar right out this way coming from inside down there so you'll actually be able to land at the spaceport out there with a cap ship take your hover vessels or your small vessels fly into the hangars go underground and you'll come out into here to the train station so you can you'll have a uh, landing docks and everything down there right through the wall right there so you'll fly out a hangar you can come down the stairs, get on a train, go to any other parts of this planet and other facilities and stuff all over the place. We'll have outposts and things like that, which I'm going to give each person an area that I want them to build in, and they're going to build an outpost for us of some kind for some reason on different parts of the planet that will connect to our train station back here at the main facility. So that'll be awesome. But, yep. All right, um, we're gonna get back to work. We got a lot of digging to do, as you can see. We gotta dig out this tunnel, design our train, get it completely right. You can see how we've already decided on the decor. <laughs> but we got four tunnels to dig. We've got hangars to build, tunnels to dig out, and causeways to make. Um, real quick, we'll show you the structural integrity. It was not easy to get the dome right. As you can see, we got some reddish spots right there. But before that, as you saw the initial square before, the ceiling kept collapsing over and over and over again. I couldn't figure it out. The only way to suit it was to get these beams in right here. And I had to bring them all the way down. I want to take them out, but I don't think I'll be able to. If I do, I think this whole section will collapse right there. I might test it, though. But we're going to get back to work, so we'll catch you in a bit. See you later, peeps. Alright, guys. We've got a lot done, and we're still not there yet. But, uh, as you know, we've got the dome. It's up and ready. These blocks actually don't mean anything. They will be actually coming up later. Jerish Coast shaft is over there. <laughs> but we'll go in the... We'll come in here first. Let's show you what this we got going on here. That's our temporary power setup, but check it. Look at that. Got the hover train track set up. That door there should lead out to the hydroponics. Then we got another one over here, which I think will be uh, medical or something like that. We'll see what goes on with that one there. But on the bottom, we have uh, all the access points. We've uh, going down really fast. 
Yeah. There he is. Well, half of it anyways. We're still working on <laughs> getting it built and cleaned out. <laughs> but we got our hovercraft hangers. And plenty to spare. There's a piece of dirt on the floor of mine. There is where? Oh, is this it? But full access around the base. Right below here, there'll be an entryway that goes down into the uh, fuel and generator sections. I know it's all squarish for now, but that will change, you know me. It'll have beautiful little curves and everything else. This is big enough that we can actually make hover tanks and bring them in and out without a problem. Well, there it is. Okay, problem. There's always a problem, Wolf. Yeah, there's always a problem, I know. But Got our Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Right here in front, it's not cleaned out yet, but that's gonna be the service bay, the construction bay for making hovercrafts. Individual docking for uh, different people. Here's mine. Beautifully painted and symbolized by Omni. actually catching that piece of dirt. What the heck? Well, I didn't know what colors you wanted or what symbol you wanted to use. What's going on here? I don't know. What's going on? You have your door shut. I'm glitching, though. Oh. What the crap? What am I glitching I... on? There you go. I don't... No? That was weird. Oh, there's a speck of dirt right there. Oh, That's the bad part at? right here. One little piece of dirt counts as a whole block. Wait, I lost it. Or did I get it? Nope, there it is. Right. Oh man, there's one in the ceiling too. Less Got it. No. That's the only drawback about digging is getting those specks of dirt that still count as a freaking block. But yeah, there was that little piece that was like right around here. But let's continue on. There we go. That's uh, Omni's design for the tracks. I like what he did too. It looks really good for the underneath. I think we're going to continue with that too. Um, coming out this way, we're going to do another hangar bay over here. But for small vessels, there will be 12 separate hangars. For 12 separate small vessels from small to large and that access will be done by the roof but as you can tell we're going big so you'll actually be able to go from one area to another with small vessels hover vessels it doesn't matter it's just it's just gonna be open everywhere all right let's get back up here hey I already need more air Mm, that's all right. And here we yes. are. It's a little lost. All right, but that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys uh, are uh, getting ideas for yourselves and coming up with some great stuff. Uh, if you actually do have some good ideas and things that you're building, send me some uh, screenshots. I would, I would love to see them. Or even if you got some ideas for us that we can add to this, shoot them my way. Let me know. You know, we might actually end up using them. But we're actually going to get started on making the hover train here. We're just going to be a total another episode. So we will uh, be letting you guys go for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it sparks your imagination or helps you to give us some ideas. That would be nice, too. Because <laughs> I'm starting to get brain dead. Now remember to play <laughs> hard and game harder. So until next time, take it easy. See you later, guys. See you later, peeps.